up, y'all? It's your man DBK here. I want to rant a little bit. We're going to talk about money. Yeah, like the idea of our own currency. Basically, I don't go back before the Federal Reserve, but before that act of 1913. Go back. Basically, I want to go back to the Constitution. The Constitution, I think it's the 16th Amendment, says that the power to issue and regulate money is controlled by Congress. So anything you hear that's not from the Constitution saying that we can't do that, saying that Congress can regulate the money, is coming from the Federal Reserve, in which they don't want you to try and do that. Basically, what happens if the government issues money is that if you're broke, if you need money, or if a bank needs money, they go to the government. The government will give them a government bond, and then they'll give them a bank note. If they can pay off the, if the bank can pay off the bank note, they'll get the government bond, and the government bond is torn up. No interest. Pay the money back, and you get it back. The basis like if you go to your friend, hey man, you, he can I borrow five bucks here, five bucks. A week later, he he, he comes back, hey man, here's the five bucks I owed you, and that's it. No interest, nothing else. Pay your debt, your debt's done. That's it. Now with interest, you can't do is say, hey man, pay me that five bucks plus two other bucks. So to pay him that five bucks, you gotta go to find somebody else and get two bucks. And now I have made two bucks just from loaning you a five loan shark. But all of the money that we get from the Federal Reserve is done like this. It's not right. That's what I'm saying. Basically, back, we, the most profitable time we've had with the like, money and everything was during and just after the Civil War, just around the time of the Civil War, where we were based on the greenback. It was basically like, it was just money. It was basically just that. It's like, hey, you borrow money. The government paid soldiers with government bonds, and the government would pay them back with those money. It's basically, hey, this is good legal tender. This is the good. This is good for all debt that you have, and this is your pay as a soldier. Now we're at the point where it's like everybody owes somebody something. Even the government owes money. Even if you say, hey, man, we just print more money. We got more money. Yeah, we'll print more money, but the Federal Reserve would be the ones that would be giving it to us. So that means you're broke. That means the money you owe, you know, the money you say, man, I just got a hundred dollars. You already owe money on it. That hundred bucks you just got, you already, you're already in debt. You don't have a hundred bucks. You have, you have minus a hundred and twenty, let's say, whatever. We can't. And like that, 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 that's why our national debt is under double-digit trillions. That's why now we just hear new numbers that it doesn't face anymore because it's so high. We can't even imagine trillions anymore. You know how much tri trillion? Uh, one trillion you could buy Bolivia. And you buy like Luxembourg. You buy some small European country with that much money. That's how much we're in debt. We're we're in debt a whole country. Doesn't make sense. And now I'm hearing that there's a bill going through Congress. I don't know if it's passed yet or whatever, but it's being it's being thought of without Congress being able to read it. It's HR 2454. This is what HR 2454. It's like a global it's a global warming tax and stuff like that. They don't know. It's like 150, like 1500 pages long. They won't tell you what's in it. That Congress might not be able to get a chance to read it. Probably is not gonna, probably not going to be able to read it. Just like the Economic Reserve Act or um, the stimulus package bill and the uh, new budget plan. Congress didn't get to read those. Now, what's the point of voting for a congressman if you want him to vote, do the uh, words and everything for you when he's not going to read the bills he's voting on? How can you get somebody to do what you want them to do, like elect somebody that you to do what you would do if you had the time to do? And say, hey man, I don't have time to do this, but I want you to do this. But if they're not going to read the bills they want, they can make them work for you. It doesn't make sense. All right, man. It's man DBK. Look at all the stuff I said. Also, read Morals and Dogma by Albert Pike. Morals and Dogma of the most Freemasonry of Albert Pike. A lot of knowledge in there for stuff I'm talking about. All right. See ya.